Welcome in, welcome back, guys. I got my buddies here. Oh, faithfuls. We are going to be needing these uh, right now and soon. Uh, for simple fact is, we are going to be finishing up cardio, which was a great deal of leg work and things like that. Um, literally why I'm going over this today is because a client was asking me, um, what can I do about my really, really, really tight hamstring and quads? All right, so I went over it before, but her bringing it up because of the class that we've been doing um, and stretching stuff and stretching with you, everything. But I have the advantage of having these, guys. I tell you that I live on these and now I got a client that's saying, hey, what do I need to do in order to get this out? So I'm gonna go over the um, quad release right now, which is doesn't tickle. And I'm going to do both, and then I'm going to go from there straight into the lower back, which is going to give you guys the most relief. But I'm going to do it with the absolute soft tissue. Now, with this being that being said, and how I sometimes complain about this one being really soft, this is the buddy that you want right here, the softest one that you can find for what I'm about to do right now. This will have you screaming to the heavens. You will be on banshee level with this. You will sing like Mariah and, and uh, um, Whitney Houston back in the day if you hit with that. So we're gonna put that off to the side. We're gonna get started with this bad boy because we're going straight into the quad right away. The IT band, the psoas muscle, everything they were complaining about this being really tight. So I'm assuming that kind of goes across the board for everybody. I kind of let like uh, one of my clients kind of speak for the masses a little bit, just in this fact that, you know, I go by what one, what one says probably goes for, for most. So, um, I know that mine is super tight, so if mine is tight, then and you don't have the the, uh, the foam rollers that I like I do are thermogun. Then I'm telling you right now, then life is going to be a little uncomfortable until you start to really, really stretch and roll out some more. Okay, guys, this is a small investment for the relief that it gives. All right, so let's get straight into the quad. I'm gonna come right on my. Whoa. I'm going to come right to my hip bone and right onto the thigh. Sit my pocket here. And I'm going to get straight off into it right away. I'm going to work my way down over a course of about one minute. I'm going to work right here. Then each section is going to be about 20 seconds. Each section, 20 seconds, just rolling back and forth. 20, 40, and then about the last 10 seconds here. All right. So about a minute each, each one right below the the knee when I'm finished, okay? So right at the hip and the hip joint, this isn't so bad. Uh, it's not so good either, but it, it what it is is, man, does it work. Boy, do you get some relief. But you gotta put yourself through it. I'm gonna work the ends again. Ah, they're a little bit firmer. Just the firmness we need. The middle is a little too soft. We just broke it down too much. All right, going on to the tenderest part right now. So please pay this with precaution. I'm going to keep this foot down on the ground as I roll myself out because you're going to see that Having this foot down is going to take a lot of the pressure that's going to be on this leg. Down. Ha. Oh. oh. Yeah, buddy, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is not the real Mama Gemma right here. So that's 20 seconds, 20 and 20. Now I'm going to go all the way down right by the, the, the knee, low, all the way down to get that pressure out. And understand that even us doing this right now, this is something that would have to be ongoing. I personally, uh, I personally, um, only roll out my glutes and my hamstrings. I honestly need to roll out my quads more 
like this. So I'm actually glad so you guys can see what it really I, 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 looks like. Ah. Ooh, that is nice and tender. All righty. Beautiful thing about these, and like once you start doing it and you get the benefit of it, this is why I want you guys to do it so much, and you start to see the benefit of it, these will become an essential part of your recovery and your workout, and you'll see that, hey, I can recover when I remember to do it. Um, I can recover twice as fast and get back to work. So you wanna speed up the process of results, you gotta speed up the process of recovery. How do you do that? Well, make sure that's the body. All right, here we go. Right there on that ball joint. This is where the trouble starts. And if you're doing it, you notice that I can do this part right here because this is not as tender. I can do it with both legs, right? Putting all that pressure there. Most of us can. Ooh. About another five seconds. Five, four. Three, two, and one. And let me give you a tidbit of advice. It's not directly right on the ball joint. It kind of falls into that back a little bit. So it's good to go forward and backward when we're doing this. Not just always backward, because if you get here, you notice that you get a lot more onto the actual quad itself. All right, now, before we get to those glutes, we're gonna fall backwards to the glutes before we get to the back. Now let's go up, get that chapstick out of my pocket that I always have. Coming up to the middle, hi, yeah, this is the tender part. Oh, and 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, ah, oh, I gotta put that in there. Six, five, four, three, two, one, ah, ho, 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 even this position right here for a lot of people, just holding this position. I know for me about two weeks ago, asking me to do this would have been like asking me to, I don't know, walk on stilts with a uh, holding water balloons. I don't know, something crazy. But now, because we have been doing, I have been doing this like no tomorrow to stay ahead of any type of um, IT or SOAS or um, beginning of our um, sciatic. So this right here is where the sciatic lives. This type of stretch is with the sciatic case. This is what we want to be doing to keep him at bay, whether your sciatic is a man or a woman. Mine switches back and forth, <laughs> depending on how bad it hurts. All right. Now let's roll down to that knee. Get down to that knee. But this is a beautiful stretch to be to go ahead and do. So my foot is behind my actual foam roller right now, coming across that, that hamstring and glute. Beautiful, beautiful stretch because my glutes are elevated. Now I don't have that pressure on my hip because all it takes is not about the, the weight of your body being down on the hip. It's the angle of the body. So once the body can take the, the hip and pitch it up truly at 90 degrees at this way, it can bear the weight without a problem. It's that when our hip is almost half tucked under as it's collapsed, it's not being able to bear the weight of sitting at one angle. All right. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. 
All right. Even if he doesn't want to give me anything right now, that, that stretch is more than what I even asked for. All right. Taking that, any type of that bulge in that back, absolutely gone. Down, back to the elbow. Coming down to the bottom of that knee, which for this side is the most tender part. I'm going to, I, I, I. I'm going to keep that foot up. Woo! And 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, woof, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's the one that everybody you see on YouTube right there, that stretch right there. Because A, it's beautiful, it works, and it's the real deal. Come bring that leg in if you can and set it down. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, there we go. Oh. You want to stretch out that, that lower back, that tendon right there that comes off of the lower back, which I cannot remember right now. But I know that that is my nemesis. Anytime I get to hyper stretch that bad boy in a safe way, I am going to do so. Right there, this stretch here, this left arm being up, pulling on that whole base of that, that, um, that is your gluteus rumbus. There we go. Oh, oh, wow, guys. Bring it in, bring that back, the bottom leg in. Swing the leg out. Holy smokes, let's do that on the other side. Oh. Quick drink of water. That was intense. Not in difficulty and result. That was not difficult because we have the posture here, which makes it very, very doable. This is the, another one that I've been going over with you guys is bringing your hips off of the ground. I had brought my foam rollers in to a location and had these guys doing this with their hips up and soon, oh no, I had these yoga blocks, the yoga blocks, that's what I had. I didn't break these, I had the yoga blocks. And we were doing this with yoga blocks and the class was uh, having their hips just lifted off of the ground and all you heard across the room, <laughs> just by lifting those hips off of the ground, getting those hips, what is that? Maybe six inches off the ground. <sighs> See, just that alone, if you were in this position, you had those hips up. Ah, ha, ha. I was just saying how they were making a big deal. And right now, because I'm set back, ah, woo, those hips are stacked. And I'm telling you, I'm just going to be truthful, guys. A lot of us have this right here going on. Ah, I'm just doing cat and cow while I'm here with my hips stacked elevated with no pressure on them oh, because I just have my hips aligned right now in perfect alignment my knee just released and gave my gave me a result for the simple fact is that everything else is in alignment right now we're gonna hold this uh, and then all I have them doing it from this this is for a lot of us I'm actually really glad I'm doing this for a lot of us this is going to be the move already this is it and then only thing you're going to do is from here come down onto the shoulder and just allow that hip now you go from the bottom hip to the top of the hip being stretched with that fully static and remember what i was talking about when you get that blood flow and you get that itch my hip right here is itching as if i got bit by 10 mosquitoes because all of that blood was stagnant now i'm opening up that vein that canal that all that blood is moving there right now it is itching like crazy. All that new blood flowing, bringing that foot forward. 
We haven't even gotten to the back yet. We're gonna get there in a second. Just letting that back decompress and open, being elevated, letting this top, the lead foot here, this leg just drape. Just allowing it to be is the most important thing without trying to stretch it. Oh my goodness. Oh, you should have heard my class. Everybody making <laughs> so much sounds. All right, here, bringing that leg in. Oh, get in there, buddy. That's where we want to be. Now from here going cat and cow, you can feel that immense, immense release of pressure on that back right now. You're doing none of the work. That foot is braced there. And by the weight of my body, that's, that foam roller can't go anywhere. Ask me to have done this literally three weeks ago and I would have been screaming probably more than my clients. Come around. Twist. <sighs> Bringing that leg in now so I can get that quad in there as well, making that stretch even deeper. <sighs> Just arching and tucking when I get into each different flexion to make sure that I have that range of motion in each one. This is more important than the, even trying to stretch out further. <sighs> each time I move and adjust, I know you find exactly Drop this hip down. <sighs> Dropping that hip down below the foam roller. So now that this hip is completely one hip bone is behind the foam roller. Oh my goodness, the one's in front of it. Truly, truly opening that hip up. Now I'm gonna turn into it. Ooh, 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 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I am so scared to completely relax in this position. Terrified. Knowing nothing's going to happen, but it's just the pressure saying, we don't know what's next. It's enough to make you not do it. All right. Now we have released everything that hit to the next level. Remember, keep this underneath you, really tucked underneath that lower back. Push it in, push it in, push it in. Wow. Heard it. Nothing I did, I do. All I did was just sit up. That was literally that center, center, center. Oh, thank you, body. Well, the body thanked me for that one. Come on down. Oh, we relax. Notice that my feet are straight, not tipped out. I am literally putting forth the effort. Now I'm going to go into my heels, pointing my toes in. So that I don't have to engage the muscles in my legs in order to keep my feet together. Oh my goodness. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <sighs> Bring my legs in. Rotate. Now, before I even decompress and let it go, 
I have myself set up for so much success that I don't know what's going to happen here right now, guys. I do, but now I'm going to get the firm. No giving on the back. I wouldn't doubt if I heard another big release. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just right there, my hips off of the ground, left to right. It's like I'm upside down inverted right now. That's how much pressure is coming off of my back. Oh. All right, now let's roll it out. Take that all that away and drop that pelvis. I wish I could put the microphone right where that roller is right now. Oh my goodness, Rice Krispies right now, guys. Turn to the other side. I literally just drop my shoulder blade right there, right to the phone motor gets right in between, and then let my help pelvis go. It is so odd that when we're targeting and we're focusing on one part, how much the other part releases. Nothing upstairs. Just release the entire upper uh, vertebrae thoracic like there was no tomorrow. Uh, and we're not even focused on that at all, but it just went symphony. Lower back, completely the hips. What we just did is basically took the hip and unstacked it. It has it flowing freely now. Really, guys, I want you to really, 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 really practice that one hip up. So find either whether it be a foam roller, a pillow's not going to make it unless you put something really firm underneath the pillow um, that can hold your weight. It's not going to give that the pillow once your hip bone is on it, it's not going to you know be through like you can't put a weight excuse me under a pillow. You're going to fill it with something that's firm enough that you can put underneath you, get that hip up off of the ground, just the hip itself where the legs and the upper body, the torso is not elevated, where it's just the hips, just the hip being lifted and sit in that position from anywhere from three to five minutes and just see the difference when you go from left to right, how significant it is. Once you've lifted your hip, you're taking all, oh my goodness, Woo, just sitting here, I have radiation going down my body. We have failed to realize how much pressure and compacted that we are into our hip until we start to get and open that hip up, kind of blossom ourselves. Because it was amazing and it's absolutely unacceptable. You know, a few things that we've already gotten off the table that was unacceptable. Um, about our lower back and things like that, that we were unable to move. We got rid of that. It's not, it's not existing in our world anymore. One of the things about that though, is getting those hips to where we move any which way. I've done this test. I literally, I love doing this test. because Everybody thinks they're gonna pass it. No, almost nobody passes it. Do this test with some of your friends and see who passes, but make sure they're not lying though. Make sure they got it, they're being truthful. Have them literally sit on the edge of a couch or a bed or something with their body dangling and this part of their body dangling where they're in this position, right? With their feet slightly off the ground or their foot extended and slightly off the ground, like on the side of their shoe and have them stack both of their feet and then put one foot in front of the other and see if they don't go. <laughs> Simple as that, nobody thinks about it. Everybody moves in that direction, but we bring our leg in and then push it out as we twist our body so that we never have to go across our leg. Think about that. And if you go across it, just do it and see how much pressure it is when that leg goes from here to here in that position, how much pressure you're actually putting on your hip. <laughs> All right, guys, that's enough for me for your ergo, but just a little quick tidbit to make you kind of put things in perspective about how much pressure we're actually storing in our hips 
and wonder why we go, oh, okay, why is this tight? Why can't I do this? Why can't I reach down? Hip, 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 lower back, glutes. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. See you soon. Long time now.